uh, now it's time for officially opening this summit. And we would like to, to start off with a keynote to understand the direction of the capital markets, uh, the capital market authority, their direction, and their expectation. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome the Director General of Ethiopian Capital Market Authority, Dr. Brook. Please put your hands together. Um, the distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, uh, your excellencies who are in attendance, um, welcome to this uh, wonderful event. Obviously, before I start, uh, I want to take the credit on behalf of His Excellency Atu Ahmed. Uh, Atu Arid. Um, I think this is a testament that uh, there is a government that listens. Uh, on policy issues and we're very much excited that the issue that you've raised last year was expeditiously resolved and we take the note on the two matters even though ideologically we may differ and we may debate about it but uh, we take the note so i think this is such an important dialogue uh, to be prepared and to share this type of ideas so we're very much grateful so on, on behalf of the organizers of this event, the Ethiopian Capital Market Authority and myself, I would like to welcome you to the sixth uh, East annual East African Summit under the title of Emerging Frontiers in Africa Finance Sector, Regional Integration, Innovation, and Access to Finance. This summit is an important multilateral dialogue platform for industry experts, researchers, um, government officials from across the different constituencies to foster collaboration, discuss current challenges, and explore business opportunities in new markets. Uh, and we also utilize this type of uh, platforms to share knowledge uh, and experience to identify solution, aimed at shaping the future of the financial sector in our region. It's a great pleasure uh, to be here with you today to discuss sectoral development and the progress and outlook of the capital market uh, development in Ethiopia. As you know, the development of the capital market is a key component of the Ethiopian economic reform agenda under the homegrown economic reform program. Toward this goal, the capital market proclamation was enacted by the House of People's Representatives on June 10, 2021. The proclamation established the Ethiopian Capital Market Authority and has set out the legal foundations for, this, for the issuance and transaction of all securities as well as the regulation and supervision of capital market. As you know, for any economy, capital markets are a key lifeline to develop the financial system. They provide business with means to raise the money that they need to grow and create more jobs. Such markets also allow investors to save for the future and build and expand. The benefits of the capital markets are many, uh, but key among those is the mobilization and allocation, proper allocation of capital resources. Capital markets can, by mobilizing and allocating financial resources appropriately, contribute to the development of the national economy and support and promote innovation and growth. However, the development of the capital market requires a sound regulatory and legal foundation. Indeed, it's a fundamental component of the type of market we want to develop in Ethiopia. Our approach in developing sound legal and regulatory framework follows a disciplined and prudent methodology. Our aim is to ensure that the capital market regulatory framework is aligned with best international practices, such as those of established by IOSCO, the International Body of Securities Regulator, as well as with the best practices of countries that are similarly positioned in the continent. More importantly, our goal is to develop a framework that is well tailored for Ethiopia. This is consistent with the objectives of the authority. Together with protecting investors, promoting integrity, and creating efficiencies, we plan to promote the development of the capital market by creating an enabling environment for long-term investment. 
This framework certainly must be coupled with effective monitoring and surveillance arrangement. That includes the oversight of capital market service providers and capital market infrastructure, such as the Ethiopian Securities Exchange and the Central Securities Depository that we're in the process of establishing. Capital market service providers are institutions that facilitate the buying and selling of securities. They provide a variety of services, such as underwriting, brokerage, research to investors, issuers, and other market participants. They have a deep understanding of capital markets and can provide both investors and issuers with advice and guidance. The efficient trading and settlement of securities in a capital market trading platform requires the participation of this service uh, providers. Moreover, capital market service providers help create securities market products that align with financing requirement of issuers with the investment needs of the public. Recognizing the key role of service providers, the capital market proclamation and the licensing and supervision directive prepared by the authority has created 15 service providers categories to meet the needs of the capital market in the short to mid term. Designed based on the international best practice, the licensing and supervision directive has created the regulatory mechanism that is specific for our developing market. The, di the directive measures licensed service providers have the competence, viability, integrity to create a robust securities market in Ethiopia. The directive has been approved by the board of the Ethiopian, uh, Ethiopian Capital Market Authority and had, has undergone through several public consultation process. It should be finalized within the coming two months to allow the Ethiopian Capital Market Authority to start issuing license soon after. This will be the first time in Ethiopia that we'll be able to issue license for investment bank, advisors, investment advisors, brokerage firms, dealers, and others. We believe key service providers within the Ethiopian capital markets will include investment banks, brokers, dealers, custodians, central investment uh, CIS operators, and others. In the absence of developed capital market infra infrastructure and human capital in Ethiopia, the role of Ethiopian retail banks in this space is highly critical, which also includes the insurance industry. The authority has worked with the National Bank of Ethiopia for the past year to create a business structure that would allow Ethiopian retail banks to meaningfully participate in the capital market as service providers. As it stands today, and, the subject, and subject to the final approval of the National Bank of Ethiopia. And of course, since it's a proclamation, it has to go through the process of the Council of Ministers in our parliament. Retail banks could be allowed to provide capital market service, such as investment banking, brokerage dealer services, through a wholly owned subsidiary form. Such structure will prevent systemic risk to the retail banking business while allowing the development of a key capital market infrastructure. Therefore, Ethiopian Capital Market Authority would like to invite both domestic, foreign capital market service providers to take part in this exciting journey and to help us develop a vibrant capital market in Ethiopia. I want to conclude by uh, reassuring you that Ethiopia will have a functioning securities market next year. The capital... <laughs> Thank you. This new ecosystem will provide companies with a new means of raising capital and investors with an alternative and more efficient options of their investment decisions. The Ethiopian Capital Market Authority will create efficient and robust regulation that will adequately protect investors. And I'm confident that our capital market will play a vital role in developing our country's economy. Thanks so much. Thank you very much, Dr. Brook.